What's up guys? Baker here. Today, I have a light cutting intro tutorial. And um, I saw a question on how to make this kind of intro. A really old style like light cutting and then drawing things and coming in and makes uh, NBC logo or whatever. So, you don't have to use this logo for this tutorial. This is just for educational purposes. But... I got something kind of close. This is um, what I threw together real quick. So start and get these lines coming in and the little streaks and then make sure logo and then fades on and boom. Alright, so let's get this started. So first just pre-compose your logo. Again, you can use whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> for this to work, uh, you would like to have an alpha channel, which is the transparency, so PNG. If you don't, we can try to work around that, and I'll show you how in a sec. But for the most part, you want to have transparency around your logo. And um, I don't like the white part, so I'm going to use a quick luma key just to get rid of that. So I'm going to key out the brighter, change the threshold until the white goes away. Maybe zoom in here. And to clean up these edges just a little bit, I'm going to thin the edge by one pixel. Alright, so we have our logo. I'm gonna make a new composition. Make this 720 by 1280, whatever um, frames per second you want, and hit OK. Bring out our logo that we just made. Okay, pre composed, all that. Alright, <clears throat> first we will um, scale this down to fit so we can see our logo right there. Okay, let's make a background layer real quick. New solid and just call this BG, hit OK and pick, um, search up ramp apply that, make this a radial ramp change the start ramp into the center and switch the colors to like a dark gray and then the white to a black and then change the ramp, end of the ramp till we get a nice vignette sort of thing so something simple like that. All right. So we have our logo <clears throat> right here. Um, what we're going to do is this. Um, this is going to be rename this to logo. We're going to make this 3D and leave it where it is. Um, duplicate this, rename this to dots. Oops, dots. So we're going to make some dots. These are going to be our main lights. So. We're going to search up Vegas, generate Vegas, put that on our dots layer. Now if I turn off the logo, go to our dots and change the blend mode to transparent, we can see we have some dots around the edges because our stroke is on image contours. So if you don't have an alpha channel and you can't key it out or something, what you're going to try to do <coughs> sorry, is go to your dots, your pre-composed thing or whatever, and you're going to have to auto trace it and probably auto trace like luminance or something so um, yeah and when you do that uh, when you use Vegas you have to change it to mask path and you can only do one at a time so you can't do all masks so that kinda sucks so anyways that's why you wanna try to have a logo with alpha channel so you can just do image contours and it gets the edge so all we need to do now is change the channel to alpha and we get all the alpha edges. Nice. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, close that out. Um, close, close. Segments. So we have 32 lines per separate alpha object. So if I set this down to one, we have one like string per shape. So I'm going to change the length down so we get a nice looking like dot almost. So I'll zoom in here. So probably something like 0.01 and then we can boost up the, where is it? Why don't I see like the thickness? Rendering, sorry. The width. You can change the width to make it bigger dots or smaller dots. So don't go too high, maybe just like 5. Okay, we can change the color. I'm going to make it white. And 
what am I going to do now? Um, yeah, we'll leave it for right now. <clears throat> We're going to make a adjustment layer and call this Shine. You're going to need a third-party plugin called Trap Code Shine. Sweet plugin. Drag that on. Um, transfer mode to add. Now, the shine is affecting the background, so we need to go to the pre-process and use a different threshold. So this only affects the, uh, the dots. So we can change our ray length, we can boost the light up. So you can kind of see we're starting to get these rays coming out of our dots, so that's good. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. What I'm going to do is duplicate my dots layer, rename this to trails, put that above the shine because I don't want shine coming from our trails. We might, I don't know what it looks like, but uh, we'll try that later. So anyways, on our trails layer, we're going to increase the length, actually start the length right now at zero. We'll keyframe this. Move forward, we'll say five seconds. Actually go to our time, we can type in five seconds exactly. Okay. Keyframe the length up to one. So we just get a tail coming out of the dots, but they're not moving. So how are we going to do that? With the <coughs> dots layer selected, push E, open up Vegas, open up uh, segments, and we have a rotation. So we can rotate the dots along the alpha channel like this. But I want my trails to follow along, so I'm going to do this. So reset to zero. On our trails layer, we have um, the same rotation. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch. I'm going to pick whip this rotation down to the dots rotation and just let go. So whatever we do to the rotation of the dots, the rotation will affect the trails as well. So at zero, we're going to keyframe the rotation. Let me just push you to clean this up, okay? Go to five seconds on our timeline. Let's see, five seconds here. And keyframe this, it's going to be negative, so we want it to go this way. So do negative 360 or negative one rotations. So we can see here we have dots and the streaks are coming through and there you go so I'm just going to easy ease right click or push F9 to easy ease <coughs> oh my I'm dying okay oh I came out of nowhere and the trails easy ease that keyframe as well okay Whew. so now that's all set up I can add a um, little bit of glow to the trails. I can do AB colors, so I can pick my own colors here. So something like a light blue and a little bit darker blue. Okay, and um, probably can't see it. So increase the radius a little bit, increase the intensity a little bit. There we go, getting some glows. Um, also, the shine should probably match the color. So let's do that real quick. Colorize and electric. All right. <coughs> Man, I should not record tutorials when I'm coughing. All right, so our animation stops at five seconds, right? So um, a little bit before five seconds, I'm going to go to our main logo that we turned off, turn it back on, push T for opacity, keyframe, set it to zero. Go to five seconds, keyframe it up to a hundred, and um, the shine is affecting is being affected by our logo. So we want let's zoom in here to fade off our shine layer before the logo fades on. So push T, and we'll go backwards a little bit, keyframe at a hundred, move forward right when the logo turns on, keyframe the shine down to zero. So we get our dots coming in. Shine turns off, logo fades on. That okay. <coughs> now let's animate a camera real quick. So layer, new, camera, and um 28's fine. Um go to 
right when the logo is fading on, so the animation is still going a little bit, but right when the logo starting to turn on, push P, Shift, A, and keyframe the point of interest and position. Go to the very beginning, and let's use a camera tool. Let's track Z so we can scoot up in 3D space. We can orbit and kind of rotate to the side. Let's see how this looks. Can't tell which way I'm facing. Yeah. Let's rotate the other way. So this is a little bit of trial and error. This is the fun part of After Effects. So um, try X, Y. So just so you kind of look like you're coming in from the, the side or maybe down below. So scoot, rotate, track, Let's just mess around with this. So anyways, coming in, there we go, coming in from the side like that. Um, easy ease your camera keyframes, boom. Another thing is we want these light rays to kind of look perpendicular to the surface that's not really there. So if you kind of look hard, our shine is pointing up this way and then pointing down that way, not really working. So what we're going to do is a little bit of a trick. Um, Let's go back to five seconds. We're going to go to source point on the shine, keyframe it. We want this to be somewhere kind of down below in the middle of our comp. And in the beginning, <coughs> the back needs to be, or the source point needs to be somewhere in the back to on the right bottom. So our shine is looking a little uh, weak, so we can just mess with the length and the intensity boost light we can also go to our dots layer and maybe try to add a glow to this and brighten it up there we go starting to get a little bit um, hotter light edges so trails coming in shines looking good logo fades on and if you want to do one more thing we can just add a quick adjustment layer again for another glow Put on glow. When your logo is fading on, let's um, keyframe the intensity from zero. When the logo is fully on, keyframe it to one, and then go forward again down to zero. So we have these three keyframes. So when it goes on, it kind of gets a nice glow, and we can increase the radius 50 pixels. And um, if it's too much, just change the intensity down a little bit. So here is what we got. Quick recap while I'm, re I'm previewing. Um, Pre-compose <coughs> your logo. Um, make sure it has an alpha channel on it. Um, make it a 3D layer in space because we have a camera. Duplicate it to make a dots layer. Use Vegas on the image contours of the alpha channel. Make it... Um, one segment per object, I guess, and um, duplicate it again to make trails. Make sure you link the rotations just in case you want to change it because you can make this go around maybe two times if you want. And I'll show you that. But um, the shine is in between the layers. Um, simple camera movement, it's really not that hard. If you want, um, I can try to upload this project file. The only thing is you, you might have to... Hmm, it might work, but if the logo is pre-composed, I think it should work. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload this, don't worry. So, anyways, um, while we're waiting, do you have any questions or tutorials? that you want to see in the future, leave a comment, make sure you like and favorite the video, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, talk to my fans there, and um, yeah, this is going pretty slow, boom, <coughs> and um, being sick sucks, so don't do that, um, yeah, really don't know what to talk about, what are you talking about, do you guys like this intro? I mean, I thought it was pretty, pretty interesting. Kind of thought of thought of this on the spot when I saw the question. So, if anyone has some other challenges for me, how to make an intro, how to do an effect, how to copy and edit or something, 
um, let me know. Oh, there's one more thing I want to tell you. So don't leave yet. Okay, you see how the, the points start at a um, kind of up top? If you want them to start in a different spot, here's what we can do. Remember, the trails are linked to the rotation of the dots. So the dots is like the control layer. So we have a rotation here. Instead of uh, messing around with the keyframes, let's just alt-click on the stopwatch and do value, which takes whatever it is right now, plus, and then just think of a number, like 90 degrees. So this will start these off at a different spot. Now they're starting over here. So I can change this to 180. I start down here. So they kind of grow from the middle, go around. Now that's kind of like the intro that you saw, kind of start in the middle. And they're not always going to be um, perfectly you know, equal and stuff, just because you can't really tell where the start of a mask is. But anyways, um, change the rotation with an expression right here. And um, yeah, that was about it. Pretty cool stuff. So, <coughs> ouch. That's it. If you have any questions on this project file or how to do something else, please let me know. Please like the video and favorite and things like that and stuff and peace.